Today, I'm gonna to be making homemade apple pie and vanilla ice cream. I am not a master chef like Nick, so please bear with me if I make a couple of mistakes. Before I can attempt to make this apple pie, we're gonna need some apples. So let's head to the apple orchard. We have just arrived at the farm. Let's go get some fresh apples. If you're wondering where we are, we were at Lookout Farms. We were actually here a couple weeks ago for the donut video. It's a pretty cool place. They have apple picking, pumpkin picking, homemade apple cider, hard cider, and a farm store, and a bunch of food. Let's go find the orchard. Zach, how long do we have to f***ing walk? Bro, stop complaining. We've been walking for like 30 minutes. Where's the f***ing apple orchard? What the f***? It just keeps going on forever. Where the f*** are the apples? Man, are you good? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Bro, stop, stop recording. We have finally found some golden delicious apples, which will be perfect for our apple pie. Let's get picking. All right, first apple of the day. Ooh, we had a double apple. How you like them apples? I got the whole ranch with this one. Honestly, let's try one of these. These are really good apples. Try that. They're yummy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident that these are gonna be amazing in our apple pie later. Our bags are already pretty full. I think we can fit one more in here. Here we go, last apple of the day. All right, let's get baking. All right, now that we have our apples, we can get started. First thing I'm gonna do is start with the ice cream so it's done by the time we're done baking. We're gonna need one and three fourths cup heavy cream, one and one fourth cup whole milk, three fourths cup sugar, one eighth teaspoon fine sea salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna take all of our ingredients and bring it over to the stove top. Figure on a cup of our whole milk. This is heavy cream, I mean. Take around <laughs> a, a cup of a combination of milk and our heavy cream. About that much. Now I'm gonna toss in all the sugar. And that salt. I've chosen to use vanilla bean paste and vanilla bean extract. So let's get that in here. Toss that in. This gooey stuff in there. What did he say? So now we're just gonna stir to combine. We wanna wait till all of that sugar is dissolved and I wanna let this mixture cool down just for a couple minutes before I put it into the ice cream machine. All right, I think the sugar is dissolved. I mean, where's Nick when you need him? We're gonna add the rest of our heavy cream and whole milk into this mixture. Gonna kind of cool it off. The hotter it is, the longer it's gonna take for it to cool down in the ice cream machine. All right, I'm honestly I'm happy with that. Put this on here. What are you doing? Okay. All right, there's our mixture. All right, now let's get back to my workstation. All right, got my ice cream machine. I borrowed from my mom. Is that gonna give me an extended cable? How long's gonna reach? Gonna toss our ice cream mixture into here. Now it's pretty simple. I just turn this. I think it's just power and then start. And this is basically just gonna get it really cold to the point where we'll have ice cream, hopefully in like around an hour. And let's move on to the apple pie. Our first step for apple pie is getting six to seven apples and cleaning them. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna cut up these apples. Weren't you supposed to take the skin off? Were we? All right, we're just gonna do this manually. I really fucked myself over not peeling these beforehand, so I've been having to peel each half slice here. One eternity later. I got my last halves that I'm gonna cut here. All these are going in here. Now we can move on to making the actual filling with the apples. For the apple pie filling, we're gonna need six to seven apples, one and a half teaspoon cinnamon, eight tablespoons unsalted butter, three tablespoons all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of water, one cup of granulated sugar. Now I'm gonna take all the apples that took me like an hour to cut up, put them all in this bowl. I'm gonna take all the cinnamon and I'm gonna sprinkle it in. It's gonna mix all that cinnamon into the apples. All right, once that's pretty well combined, we're gonna go over to the stove top and mix the sugar, flour, and butter together. Now while I'm at the oven, I might as well preheat it for when we're ready to put the pie in the oven. Now let's start our sugar sauce. Turn this on. This is basically a stick of butter. We're gonna slowly melt this butter down. All our butter is melted down, I'm gonna add our flour in. I'm gonna add all the sugar in. It's a lot of sugar. All right, I'm gonna add some of this water to loosen it up. Almost ready, honestly. Do you know that or you're just guessing? <laughs> I'm completely guessing. Well, that goes, let's go check on our ice cream. It's starting to look like ice cream, check that out. I would say that's ready. Now we're just gonna pour this mixture over our apples. Mix this all together. Now that I'm done with the apple pie filling, I'm gonna set it to the side, and I'm gonna get the crust in the pie tray. Now for all the haters and master chefs out there, no, I'm not making the dough from scratch today. That's too much work for Manny. Nick, don't kill me for this. You're fired. Nick always gives me a hard time for having a messy workstation, so I guess I can clean up a little bit here. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit here. Put this into our pie plate. I'm gonna try and just massage this dough. 
into the pie pan here without ripping it. All right, now that I have my pie crust in, let's get our apple filling inside. Drop this in. I'm gonna overfill it, so. Now once you have it like pretty even with the edge of the pie plate, I think you can stop. Might as well just put it all in, right? Now I wanna make the lattice covering for the top of the pie. We're gonna start making lines, like one here, another one here, and that should be good. We're first gonna put these on. Oh, I like my nice. All right, one of these. This piece is gonna go here, and then this. Oh. Does that work? That looks good. All right, now I'm gonna take the dough. I'm gonna crimp it into the edge here, so they're all kind of connected. All right, the lattice is done. The last step I have to do is add my egg wash on top of the entire thing. All right, for our egg wash, it's pretty simple. You just need a little silicon brush and one egg. So I'm gonna crack it here, and we're gonna separate the egg whites. We just want the, the yolk, and I'm gonna put it into here. So I'm just gonna add a little dab of water. Then I'm gonna take a fork, get the yolk all runny like that. That's perfect. That's my egg wash right there. Now all I do, take the brush, coat it. Nick always does this with homemade buns and bread. This is gonna give it that beautiful golden brown color that we're all looking for. I think everything's covered. Will we wait for the oven to hit 425? That's checking out ice cream one more time. Oh, it's done, look. Vanilla ice cream. All right, the oven just hit 425. We're gonna put it in here for 15 minutes. It has now been 15 minutes, so we're gonna switch the temperature to 350 and cook it for 45 more minutes. Let's check out the pie real quick. That looks really good. You're not supposed to open the oven when you're baking, but fuck it, I wanted to see it, okay? All right, we got about 15 seconds left in the timer, so let's get the pie out. Let's try not to burn myself. Let's see if this tastes as good as it looks. I've heard you're supposed to let apple pie rest for a little bit. One hour later. Let's try to get our perfect slice now that the pie's cooled down. All right, I'm gonna start at this corner over here. Lattice is very delicate. All right, we got our plate here. My strategy is gonna be from the back here. Oh God, it doesn't look good. It's like that doesn't look good. All right, so this is probably not the prettiest pie I've ever seen, but I'm gonna improvise. So what I'm thinking is, if I take some crust here, stuff it in this cup, we can make a sick apple pie lava cake. What the hell is even that? It's perfect. All right, I think it's still kind of caving in a little bit. We gotta work faster. Now it's time to garnish. I'm gonna take some confectionery sugar. Now we need our ice cream. This has been sitting in the fridge for a while. Let's try to get that perfect scoop. Look at that. Okay. Beautiful. Before I try this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. When it comes to cooking or baking, sometimes things don't go to plan, especially when you're inexperienced like I am. I've gotta say this apple pie that we went for turned into more of an apple crisp, but I'm not disappointed. All right, let's dive in. Here we go. Holy f Honestly, that's a nine out of 10 for me. Pretty simple recipe, amazing results. Most of the apple pies that I've had lately have been more on the tart side. In my experience, I really like apple pies that are more on the sweet side. The pairing with this homemade vanilla bean ice cream goes perfectly with it. I highly recommend this recipe. Maybe let the pie sit longer. Until next time, let me know what you want me to attempt to cook or try next. See you next time.